everybody, this is Crypto Robert and welcome back to another one of my videos. I've got an update yet again, yet another update on Cryptera. After a long slumber of some 20 odd days, they finally communicated with their customers on Twitter. If you look here, they put three tweets out. Yes, let me read the first one. First tweet came in. Uh, around 12 o'clock my time on March the 1st. Dear friends, works on Payment Gateway already finished. Yay. During the next 72 hours, it will be available to purchase new contracts and pay out your funds. Sorry for the delay and thank you for your great patience. Yes, I think great patience is an understatement. Yes, we have been very, very patient. Notice they say during the next 72 hours. So I'm hoping that it's actually the next 72 hours from the time they they made this uh, post. Um, you know, it's Cryptera, guys. It could take uh, seven days or longer. I'm, I'm really hoping um, that's not the case. Their next tweet actually addressed some real problems that a lot of us have had because, like uh, myself, many of you have, are locked out of your account for whatever reason. Our, e our passwords are not working. We can't log into our accounts. It's only affecting some and not everybody. So uh, what they wrote here, problems with mail delivery. Also, some other bugs will be fixed during 72 hours too. Sorry, once again. Essentially, their mail server is not working. So support at Cryptera or info or whatever. None of that mail server or those emails have been enabled. So when you click on the forgot password, uh, an email is not sent to you. What happens is when somebody clicks on, I forgot my password, send me a new password or temporary password, it resets in the database, but that um, email is not copying that temporary password and sending it to your mail where you can actually go in and then change your password. So once that's up and running, um, everyone should be able to technically log into your account. Now, I'm locked out of my account, so I actually can't get into the account, but in a moment, I'm going to create a dummy account. Um, just, you know, just sign up and, and show you how you really don't have to worry about your, um, your account being completely hacked, um, and I'll explain why in a moment. But last, I wanna share the last tweet was um, regarding their cameras there, data centers. Now you will see a live camera or cam video from data centers. We are working on a full report about everything um, that went on with our company during the last two months. I'm, I'm adding some words here, friends, to smooth it out. Um, we are apologizing, or we apologize for all kinds of inconveniences. Unfortunately, it didn't depend on us. Thank you for your patience. Very, very interesting. Let's dissect this a little bit. We're really happy to see that they are these live cameras. Now, a lot of you guys out there who no longer believe in crypto, remember they had about 8,000 uh, Twitter um, <laughs> subscribers. They're whittled down to like a little more than 3,000. Let me check on that actually. 3,830. Wow. So they lost more than half of their, their Twitter. People just got fed up and just have moved on. Um, you know, we will... I will believe it when I see it as well, but um, I do want to hear the tale. <laughs> this is very interesting. Um, it was, it, it didn't depend on us, uh, a full report. I'm like, wow, this is really interesting. I'm like, I wonder just what exactly happened. So I, I, I was prompted. I said, let me just email, let me just write these guys and say, hey, can I get an exclusive interview for my YouTube channel when you are fully back up and running? Um, I think it will go a long way to clear up this mess from the last two months. And lo and behold, I was completely shocked. I mean, blown over because Cryptera never personally responds to anybody in their um, in their to their tweets. And it says, "Yes, our management to me directly to Crypto Robert. Whoa, our management will contact you for an interview and will describe the full situation about our company." about hardware movement, payouts, plans for the future, and et cetera. I tell you, if that interview really happens, that is hopefully going to explain what the heck happened in these last two months. I mean, I can only speculate. I can only just create like, and all of us can create like crazy 
stories in our minds as to what exactly happened. Um, many of you feel that they are a complete scam. So those that feel that uh, this is a, is a continuing scam, um, well, hopefully that video, if it does happen, will have some real answers. I'm, and I'm gonna really, and I promise my audience that no, I'm not gonna, not gonna hold back. I mean, I'm gonna hold their feet to the fire, so to speak, and ask the really hard questions and, exp and just so we can all figure out what happened and why they did what they did and uh, why they are not communicating and what is what is the deal folks so that's the good news they 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 tweeted yesterday uh they've given us like a temporary sigh of relief oh they're back right so many of you have a lot of money plowed into uh cryptera um i'm actually in your boat i'm not getting any money until they're back up and running cryptera not making any money until they're fully back up and running. So they haven't been selling any new contracts. They are probably very eager to start making some money again. But they're they're going to have a huge problem with credibility because of this two months of downtime and this back and forth shenanigans. Um, they're going to really have a hard time rebuilding. And that's, I guess, the reason why they're rebranding to this X Mining um, website, x-mining.cc. And more on that in a moment. But let's go to the Cryptera website. Okay. Let me click out of here. And notice that um, their prices, just, just to let you know that their prices, if you click on services and um, clicked on the shop, their uh, one terahash is about $200. I'm not sure if that price is going to change. Um, it might. And also, maintenance fees are also going to be imposed. Uh, and their two-year contracts. Uh, contract. So right off the bat, if they open up shop and they start selling these contracts, they're going to be on um, around the market average price of around $180 to $220 that we've been seeing uh, per terahash of the various programs that are that are selling them from CCG Mining, Hashflare, and all that. So let's try and sign in um, in the client area. Like I said, I'm completely locked out. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create an account. I'm going to sign up, and uh, I'm going to put in a um, just a, an, an email that I ha actually happen to have. Another email. You're not going to see this in the video, of course, because it's not really important that anybody see what emails that I have. <laughs> Anyway, um, think of a dumb password. Okay, I created my account. So let me, now that my account is created, let me log in. Now, this, uh, what you see here is not real, this um, animation. This is, a, if you look under the hood and do view source, this actually is a JavaScript, a little JavaScript program, similar to the program that was running when you clicked earlier about the account balances are, are um, being recalculated. Um, this is just, I guess, for to make people seem like they're doing all these uh, uh, detections and and you know spam and and hacker anti-hacker things. So it's not actually doing anything. So, in other words, that there is no reason why they're showing this. <laughs> so I hope that um, one of the technical works is to actually remove that script so you can actually just you know log in quickly. Actually, so uh, now that we've logged in. I just want to show you the reason why you really don't have to worry about uh, your uh, account being gone since you can't log in. Now, after signing in, you get the dashboard. Obviously, since this is just a dummy account, there isn't any hash power whatsoever. Uh, but to say a hacker were to somehow get your email and log in and be, were able to change your, your uh, password without your knowledge, um, they still couldn't take away your account because there's no way to change the email. Now here on the profile page would be an area that a hacker could try and make some changes to. Um, they would, for example, if I was a hacker, which I'm not, um, you could uh, change the email address so that a person wouldn't be able to log back into their account. Um, now, on my other computer, I have a Mac, and I and I record on a Windows uh, laptop, only because my Windows laptop is way more powerful than my old MacBook Pro from 10 years ago. Um, well, you see that the, on my on the Mac uh, Chrome browser, there was there's a little edit button over here on the little profile picture. 
It's missing in the Windows version of Chrome. I don't know why. Maybe somebody else in the comments section can can say if there is a way for editing. Um, when you would click that button, you you just be able to edit your name and address, and that's it. There's no way to change out your email address. Now, if a hacker can't change your email, they really can't gain any permanent access to your um, your your account. So what you would do is when you, lo you when you lo when you're trying to log in, let me log out right now. You basically would would be able to click the forgot password, add your password, click reset, and that would reset the password. Now, once Cryptera has the email server up and running, when you click that reset password with your email in there, that will reset the password in the most likely a MySQL database it would be created an encrypted password would be, would be created in their database and a copy of that encrypted password would be then be emailed to your email address since a hacker could not change your email address um, going through the admin panel and all that you will get that email and then you'll have an opportunity to um, change your password reset it and then enable your two-factor authentication now some of you also had problems with the two-factor authentication as well. Um, that's probably something that Cryptera is working on as well. Um, it's a really good thing. I have two-factor authentication activated on all of my crypto uh, websites, hash flare, Genesis mining, um, and so forth. So it's a great extra security feature. And if you're not using it, you really should be using it because um, you never can be too safe in this uh, cryptocurrency space. Um, things that they need to fix obviously are the SSL because right now there is no security certificate. If you go back to the regular Cryptera website, let me go back there right now, Cryptera.net. Uh, you click, it says valid, but actually it's not um, a valid certificate. So if we go to SSL Labs, and as you can see, the SSL certificate gets a F, a failure. Uh, the reason is that it's not uh, properly uh, configured right, or it was revoked in some way. So that's part of the technical works that Cryptera needs to get back up, uh, needs to fix ASAP if they're going to actually start um, ordering, being able to order things. Obviously, you click on any of these buttons here, none of them work. You still can't order anything. Um, so hopefully within the next 72 hours or longer, again, this is Cryptera, um, they'll not only pay us, which we're all eagerly waiting for our payment, our long-awaited payments, but also they'll be able to start uh, getting up and running again. Well, that's about it for this video. It's a real short one, just a quick, um, you know, what's going on based on Cryptera's latest, um, latest uh, tweets. Um, again, this is the waiting game. Uh, they're asking us to be patient. We're all eagerly waiting to know exactly what happened. We're probably eagerly awaiting the long-awaited you know, videos of their data centers. Uh, I know for many of you, um, you're not going to believe it until you see it, that that Cryptera is a scam, that I am somehow aiding and abetting a scam. Um, so it's okay. You can feel that way. That's, that's fine. Um, so uh, everyone is entitled to their opinion, and you guys can share your opinions in the comment section below so if you like this video and got any any value out of it yeah, click the like button uh, if you're not a subscriber I encourage you to subscribe uh, there's lots more new content coming out um, so and also I mentioned uh, that I would be interviewing the uh, owner of uh, ice rock mining a very interesting company based out of Kazakhstan that interview did not happen today Friday but is scheduled or has been rescheduled for Monday due to uh, Con schedule conflicts on the ice rock mining team's end so that is coming and that's a really exciting program i'd like uh, them as a team to explain and it might be a very actually very lucrative opportunity as anything all investing has their risks whether it be cryptera uh hash flare genesis mining whatever so you need to be aware of those risks not put in more money than you can afford to lose and remember crypto robert is not a financial advisor and Crypto Robber doesn't force anyone to invest money, their own money, into a program. I explain things, you make your own informed decisions, um, and that's about it. So, all right, take care, folks, and have a great day.